the legendary retention vanish. I've got the coin here. Pop it into my hand just like that. Watch. Boom! Gone. Even Thor can't do that. This is seriously my most favorite coin vanish. I always do this if you ask the rest of the other guys. So treat this one with respect to make sure you learn it well, okay? Because this one can be damn powerful. Okay, so here we go. So what you're gonna have to do is this. You're actually going into your other hand, okay? With a coin held between your fingertips like that. So I guess you're holding it with your thumb and your two fingers there. And what you're doing is, as you go in, you curl your fingers up, okay? Now, you're doing something there when you curl your fingers up, so I'm gonna leave my hands down and just pretend I'm curling my fingers up. So, I go here and I go, oh, fingers are curling up there. What I do is I push it against that fleshy part of my thumb, and I just pop it in like that. And then I close my hands. Okay, I know it sounds bizarre, but look, if I do that all in one motion, pop it in and then my hand closes. Okay, there's a slight retention of vision if you do the timing right. So if the timing's right, it looks like this, like that. So it looks extremely realistic. So you guys are gonna have to play with that timing and get it right. So usually you just go from here, push it in, and it goes immediately into a classic palm position, or you can go from here, push it in, and it goes immediately into a finger palm position. It's entirely up to you where you want it to end up. Okay, so just in case you guys couldn't follow that, I'm gonna show you one more time from a better angle, okay? So from here, what it looks like is this. As I put the coin in my hand and as I curl my fingers in and I'm like, yep, when my fingers are curled that far, spectators can't see anything else, I push the coin towards the flesh bit of my thumb and then immediately close the fingers thereafter, leaving the coin in that position there. Now from here, like I said before, you can go immediately into a classic palm like that and you can point, you can gesture, your fingers are empty, makes the vanish look very convincing, okay? Or if you want to for any purpose that you're, you're gonna use this for, say I'm going from here, do the retention vanish, come to here, drag the coin into a finger palm position. So that's essentially how you get into the two palms after the retention vanish. Tip number one. All right guys, now this is one of those moves where you actually have to practice taking it for real. Okay, so what you wanna do is take it for real 10 times and then one of the times, don't take it at all, okay? So that's how you practice making it look really, really natural, okay? So that's the first tip you guys should keep in mind. Tip number two, um, guys, I guess this one is just because of personal experience for me. When I just learned this, I was terrible at it, okay? I used to do it like this. Oh, see that coin? Oh, okay, I've got it in there now. You see, I, I used to be so worried and I didn't believe in the retention of vision that I would do it so fast to try to cover the motion, but I didn't realize that by doing it that fast, it looks extremely, like, suspicious. So you gotta be very, very careful. You don't do it like, boom, like that. Just do it nice and slow. Okay, a decent pace, not too slow, but a decent pace. So work out what that pace is, but definitely don't do it at lightning speed. The angles for this move. You guys are very fortunate. This retention vanish is too epic. It doesn't have any angle issues. But if you wanna get really, really specific, then yes, there's a tiny bit of angle issues from when you're going from this position here into a classic palm. You just gotta make sure no one's underneath you, okay? So other than that, which you guys probably shouldn't even have to worry about because it's pretty quick when you're doing that transfer. Other than that, there's no angles. So don't worry, don't stress. Go and perform the move. Hey, how you guys going? Hope you guys have been well. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. Guys, I've got a question for you today because I'm really curious to see. Now, I know we've got a lot of followers, but I want to know how many of you actually perform magic for money? So how many of you actually go out and actually get gigs? I mean, I want to know, just comment in the section below. Let me know if you just, you know, perform for fun. If you perform for fun, that's fine too. That's awesome. But if you do perform for gigs, I'm curious to know whether you perform at corporate functions, where you perform just for private parties, or you get done for, you know, tell me. You, you let me know. There's so many different things, like stage shows even, okay? So comment in the sections below and let me know. If you guys haven't seen the tutorial for the slide last week, check out the video up on top there. If you haven't seen the tutorial for the latest one, check out the one down there. All right, guys, other than that, I'll see you guys next week. Rather a mind open by wonder, the one closed by belief.